Hello everyone. This week's Tech Tuesday is about Moot. Why Moot? Moot acts as a feedback tool. It also supports our diverse learners and language learning. It also integrates well into our G Suite tools. How to get started with Moot? Moot is a Google Chrome extension. So first we need to install Moot. After installing the extension, the first step is to sign in using your Google. Now we are all set to use Moot. I'm going to open a Google document and start commenting. So when I highlight and click on the comment, I could see this Moot icon. Now I could provide my voice feedback. Thank you for trying Moot. So once we have recorded our voice, we can hit on the comment button, which has our voice recorded. Also, it has a transcript. The transcript can be changed to any language of our choice. As you can notice, the transcript is not right here. So I can edit and save the right transcript. Now let's take a look how does this look at the student end. So here is my test student account and the student already need to have Moot installed as Chrome extension. So now when the student receives the comment, they can play the comment from the teacher. Thank you for trying Moot. And they could express their reaction using these buttons, which will indicate the teacher that the student has received the comment. They could also reply using voice comment. Now let's take a look into the Moot library where we can track our previous comments. By clicking on the Chrome extension, here is the list of our previous recordings which we can access and reuse it for the future comments. Moot also allows us to share the comment using QR code. So if you really have any voice instructions, we could record using Moot and use the QR code for people to access it. If you are interested in using Moot further and you need for subscription, please contact your EdTech coach. As a summary, today we looked into what is Moot, how can we add Moot Chrome extension, how to provide voice feedback, where is Moot library and how can we share Moot. Thank you.